What is up YouTube? My name is John and today I'm going to check out actually four videos. It will be Tarot, it will be Nightwish, it will be Kai Hato playing Obey with what I believe is his older band named Rotten Sound. Maybe I'm wrong on this but you guys can tell me down in the comments if I'm wrong. And one more surprise band at the end there. Also I wanted to apologize if I have some weird head movements, if I don't headbang as much today because uh, today I just woke up and I just kind of, I don't know man, my neck just kind of feels weird when I move it in a certain direction. So there is that, but that is not gonna stop me from enjoying some good music. And we are going to start with Tarot and the song Warhead from the DVD Undead Indeed. So right now, without further ado, let's just jump into Warhead. That sounds weird, but you know what, let's get it. Three, two, one. Now. Sorry about that. Sako meidän, että sillä rupeaa pumppuprakaa kohta. Kai te pidätte sen hengissä. Oisko Zach tää thinks his tästä, heart is gonna blow. Bruidini. Can you keep him alive? Is this vibe here able to revive you, my bro? Hei, sä oot ihan oikeassa. Janne hey, you're right. Janne is about to start it. This song is called Warhead. I actually have the translation right here. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> the proud son of proud fathers, the feared and fearless me. Soldier of Armageddon. I was born to fly free Now they see a wasted reason I'm banished and scorned Woo! Lonely here in my rusty shell oh, But I heard someone Restless mind now How the riff kicked in. That girl on the left looked bored. <laughs> How can you be bored when there's Marco here to with this man in front of you? And then powerful voices. There's a lot of the way his face is shaped.
the soul trader. God damn it. I really like how they are kind of deep building the song part by part. That explosion at the end, goddamn. Alright, so that was Tarot Warhead from the Undead Indeed DVD. And goddamn it, my, my neck or whatever it is that is hurting me back here is just kinda killing me and it's super annoying. But we're gonna get through this together. And this song was really awesome. Liked it. It was not something that I would usually listen to. But I really like how the verses were, you know, driven, really well driven by the drums. You know, not the usual, you know, hi-hat, snare, and just, you know, kick drum kind of beat, but more of a tom-tom beat this time around, and, you know, with a, with that massive bass tone and just those heavy riffs, it's just made for a great wall of sound kind of feeling. And then in the chorus, you know, Marco just, just singing just Warhead, and making it sound so freaking powerful. He's basically one big walking warhead, I could say. Vocal warhead. And another thing that I really liked about this song is how they, you know, build it up in the beginning and then at the end there they kinda, as I said before, they kinda deconstructed the song, you know, piece by piece, you know. The instruments were kinda falling off one by one until, you know, just keyboards and drums basically were there and it was very freaking cool to just see, you know, Marco and the keyboardist whose name I have already forgotten and I'm already super sorry about that. You know, when they when their voices join together it's really cool, but also Marco on his own, like god damn it. He has such a great stopping power in his voice. I mentioned it many times before, but you know, he was just so consistent throughout this whole song and he always is basically and Sounds super freaking powerful, and yeah, there is basically everything that I wanted to say about this song. And right now, we're gonna move on to Nightwish. I want my tears back. Vaken 2013. Now, I have not yet heard version with floor, and I believe this version is with floor from what I'm seeing right now. Yeah, it's back in 2013, man. Like, you know, that legendary Ghost Love score performance is, I believe, from this concert, from this festival, and... That's goddamn unforgettable, man. So I believe this is gonna be a great performance. It has five minutes and six seconds. So I'm really, you know, curious to hear how Floor handles this song because I really do like this song and also Dark Passion Play is my favorite Nightwish album. I know that might upset some people, but it's just how I feel about it. So yeah, without further ado, let's jump into I Will Monty Respect by Nightwish with Floor and vocals from back in 2013. Three, two, one. 
one now. <laughs> yeah, Troy's gonna have a lot of fun in this song. It's a really folky one. surfers. see a Marco and Floor dance off. Yeah, it's almost happening. <laughs> Chills. Major chills.
now <laughs> god damn it that was that was one way to tell me about wanting your tears back and with those you know really impressive faces I would definitely oblige, even though that is basically impossible to do, but you know, there is that, that's Nightwish, and this was a great performance. You know, Floor, obviously, without any, without any flaws, basically, I would say. And you know, this is one of those uh, more folkier Nightwish songs, and I really like this one, because the vocals in this one... All of the vocals and the vocal, you know, the trade-off between Floor or on the record between Annette and Marco is just so freaking good. And, you know, Troy with his, I believe those were bagpipes if I'm wrong. Just correct me down in the comments because I'm wrong many times on many occasions talking about many things. <laughs> but there is that, but Troy just doing his thing, really cool stuff. I also really like how he joined on that little solo section with Ampu on guitar and just when it gets, you know, before the last chorus uh, when it gets really intense, it's just one of my favorite moments on Dark Passion Play and life, it just sounds so freaking good, man, like, it's so cool and you, again, you can just see in this performance, the back in 2013 you can just see the band having so much freaking fun and, you know, just Everyone is just dancing, doing silly stuff, just smiling all around the place, and it's just so great to see, and it just translates so well, you know, to me as a, you know, a viewer and listener to this, of this performance. I actually don't really like going to big festivals because it's kind of too many people for me, and, you know, you don't really get to see the band you know, as close as I would like to. I prefer, you know, smaller clubs and there is that, but I believe that I will never get a chance to see Nightwish in a small club, but I don't believe they are a small club band, so there is that, and I just need to see them live again, man. Like, I saw them live with Annette, and they were so freaking far away on a big festival, and even though it was cool, I couldn't really see any one of them, so that was kind of weird, but I am planning on going to see them live again someday. All right, moving on, moving on. Now we have Kai Ha to obey, and what is hit written here is Rotten Sound. I'm not entirely sure if this is the band that he played with before, you know, before Winter Sound, before Nightwish. Might be just that. You guys can tell me down in the comments because right now I have no idea, and honestly, I'm too lazy to look it up right now because I just want to get into the video and just see him tear up that drum set. So, Kaihato, obey, let's go. Three, two, one, boom. Obey. Oh, it's gonna be heavy. Oh, it's gonna be heavy. Jesus Christ! Wow, okay. The sound quality is not that great, but holy oh, shit. Hitting super young here. <laughs> Still finds time to smile. Oh. Jesus Christ, that's flesh work.
That stamina is absolutely incredible. How the hell does he keep up keep that up? again, not that I might seem Kai up close, but god damn it. <sighs> well, you know, I expected this to be heavy. But this was even heavier than I anticipated, and it was freaking awesome. First thing that I wanted to say though is I'm sorry about the sound quality, I, you know, sometimes I just don't check the videos beforehand, so this time I actually just jumped into this one, not knowing about the sound quality. It uh, wasn't at some places, you know, especially when he hit that symbol that was right next to the camera, the big crash symbol. It felt, you know, a little bit bad in my ear, in my left ear, but, you know, I made it through. I was actually thinking that I, I'm just gonna stop the video somewhere in the middle. Like, okay, so yeah, this is, this is crazy, but that sound, I just can't take it for too long. But, you know, the performance made me stay, and the crazy speed... But not just the speed, the goddamn, you know, he just does not leave any, how would I call it, any blind spots in the fills or anything, because you have a goddamn fast fill, and he just adds splashes, he hits all the symbols in like three seconds, no, not three seconds, actually just one second and a half, I believe, and still just makes it sound musical, and not like overplayed or anything. And god damn it, those blast beats and that double bass work. You could just see his feet just going crazy down there. And you know, in between all of this, he can still crack some smiles here and there. And god damn it, that. But the stamina, the stamina and the accuracy is just absolutely. God damn it. I would not be able to last like goddamn three seconds in one of those blast beats with all those, you know, little details just thrown in, some splashing, you know, sometimes he just blasts like crazy and then he just throws, you know, a little bit something on the right symbol. You can hear it. It's just a little detail, but it just makes his playing so much fun to listen to. And god damn it, I'm probably gonna need to find another uh, drum performance from Kai, drum video, maybe Nightwish, maybe something different, maybe Winter Sun, maybe I'll do a Winter Sun drum playthrough if there is something like that on YouTube, you guys need to tell me down in the comments, because I want to see and hear that, and I especially want to hear Kai's playing in a Winter Sun in, you know, a better sound quality, because yeah, this, this recording was, yeah kinda of an ear rupturing. All right, so it's time for the last surprise song, and this song is uh, from the band The Arium, and it's named Considered Dead with Naka. And now a little bit of a story. Naka, who is Naka? I, you know, I opened up this, uh, this link, and I saw that this uh, song was uploaded on the channel named Naka the Metalhead. And I was like, okay, so I'm just gonna check the channel real quick, and I just found out that she's doing, Naka is doing, you know, reaction videos to songs. Just, you know, the same format that I'm doing right here, right now. You know, she's doing her reactions in Russian, but she also has English subs on some of these, I believe. 
She reacted to, you know, Ghost Love Score, Teacher Tisha from Ginger, and many, many songs, and I believe I can even see some reviews, so there is that. Go check out her channel, it's really cool, I actually check out a few videos before, and, you know, she seems like a really lovely person, and she is actually doing vocals in this band, and a little something that I, I'm going to mention before we get into this, some more information... So, yeah, this is a pretty old song, uh, I believe from like 2005, uh, I think it was written before I joined the band, but it was re-recorded with me in 2013, it's pretty much pure sinful power, and that she will be uploading some more songs uh, after she reaches like nine, 950,000 followers, something like that, and that the new stuff is more progish. So yeah, right now, without further ado, let's check out the Arium Consider Dead with Naka. Here we go! Three, two, one, boom! That was one of the fastest countdowns that I've ever done, I believe. <laughs> Okay, very epic alike so far. That's dark. That is dark.
That's the stuff. Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry about that. So that was the Arium Consider That with Naka on vocals. And first thing that I wanted to mention is you can definitely tell that this song was written before she, you know, joined the band or just, you know, sang these vocals because at times it feels like there are two separate entities. I actually talked about this just recently in one of my reactions that I did, uh, American Noir. You can just look it up on my channel. I just did it like yesterday. And... You know, sometimes you just feel like, or I just actually felt like, I'm not entirely sure if the vocals really, you know, flowed well, or were flowing well with the song. Some notes felt a little bit dragged out, maybe, but it definitely wasn't as bad as, you know, in American Noir. I actually didn't really like how most of the vocals kind of, you know, were put into that song, into that, you know, songwriting. In this case, it was definitely better, but I believe there are still some things that I wanted to talk about. I'm actually gonna go back to the video and try to find the moment that I want to talk about. I believe it might be... Yeah, it's right here. Okay, so he was left on the battlefield after the fight. It's kinda... You know, it's kinda... A little bit too fast for some reason and that is also when you write lyrics you know sometimes when you just have to put in a lot of words out at once sometimes it works but a lot of times actually I believe more like it's more likely not to work all that well and especially in this genre, I believe that can be, a, you know, kind of a, I want to say particle for some reason, but <laughs> that is definitely not what I mean. But it can be something like, a, you know, it just doesn't sound good to my ears. So let's just go through it again. Now, after the fight. Yeah, the after the fight part, it just kind of feels super rushed and doesn't really feel good in the context of the song and okay one more thing that I wanted to talk about is you know the pre-chorus and then you know the jump into the chorus the drumming there I wanted to talk about the drumming there and you know right here in the pre-chorus you have these drums you know you have hi-hat and uh, the kick just going on just driving the song forward something like this some splash hits and now, I would, you know, this might be a little just a personal thing, but I would already somehow incorporate, you know, the snare drum right here to give this, you know, the chorus actually a little bit more of an oomph. Now, I know that the heavier part comes after this, but in my opinion, the chorus should be the crown of the song. And this is weird because actually the more interesting part comes after the chorus. And Let's just listen to it. Because everything else is, you know, works. You know, all that symphonic stuff and the drumming now just feels super right. But I believe that with the chorus it would just work a little bit better maybe I'm thinking too deeply into this I don't even know man but yeah that is just how I feel about this and another little thing that I found a little bit weird and it's again maybe just you know change up the lyrics to you know get the word flow out into the song a little bit better there is this part but I stood before him it's kind of you know let's just listen to it and you will know It just kind of, you know, especially the ending just kind of dives into something that I can't really hear even, you know. It just kind of, you know, 
fails, fails, not fails, goddammit, English. It just kind of falls into a bottomless pit, basically, for some reason. I don't know why, but... But sometimes... It already starts with the word before, and it's kind of weirdly phrased in this part, I believe. And goddammit, I'm really critical again today. I don't know why I'm doing this, but I just wanted to give my, you know, just my honest feelings for this song. And those are just two parts that, or three parts, actually, that I was like, okay, you know, I, I think this could use a little bit of work. But the thing that I actually really like is the last part. That was really cool. You know, the last high note, you, you just get an end or something like, you know, big just, you know, to leave me like, wow, okay, that was epic and it was definitely epic. Uh, but overall, that is basically, you know, I would, I would write the lyrics a little bit differently, but again, that might be just me. I feel like sometimes, you know, the words don't really, don't really flow that well, and sometimes the notes might be a little bit dragged out here and there, but it's nothing, you know, that crazy. So, yeah, maybe just a little different uh, writing method for lyrics, or maybe just different words. But even after all that I mentioned, I still think that is a cool song. And I actually really like this part right here when, you know, it just got a little bit more operatic. Let's just listen to it. Where is it? Right here. You know, just bringing a little bit of a different vocal style to the table uh, in one song. So yeah, there is that. I hope I didn't sound too much like an ass because I still was able to enjoy the song. I just wanted to mention my few gripes that I had with it and just show you what I actually meant in the song. And, you know, the symphonic elements and, you know, overall the songwriting was still really cool and really enjoyable, you know, really reminded me of Epica and stuff like that. But yeah, those few things that I mentioned I believe they should be, you know, worked on a little bit. You know, the vocals are lovely as well, and it's just the merging, you know, of those two, of the music and the vocals that sometimes was a little bit rough around the edges, but I believe that can be worked on, and there is definitely potential in this band. All right, so there is that. I need to cut this video a little short, even though I've been recording for almost an hour. There will be, you know, I, I made a lot of pauses, so there is that, but my neck is freaking killing me for some reason today. I just woke up like that and it's just so freaking annoying, so I'm sorry to keep bitching about that, but there is that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We had Kaihato, we had Tarot, we had Nightwish, and, you know, we had the Ari a the Arium, I still can't pronounce the name, the Erium maybe, consider that with Naka. Go check out uh, Naka the Metalhead's channel, she does great reactions, reviews, and as I said before, even though she does it in Russian, there are sometimes English subtitles, maybe in all videos, I don't know, I just check out those with uh, English subtitles, so there is that. So that is it for this video, I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to Tarot, Kaihato, The Erium and Nightwish. If you did, consider leaving a thumbs up and subscribe for more stuff, because as you know, there is always more videos coming away. And if you feel like talking to me outside of YouTube, there are links to my social medias down in the description below this video, as well as a link where you can directly support my channel and what I do here, either by PayPal or on Patreon. So guys, again, thank you so much for watching, thank you Dimitri for requesting these songs and these bands, and I will see you all in the next video. So have a nice day, evening, night, or whatever you have right now. Cheers.